Hi, this is Rich Little. I'm sure you'll enjoy using the outgoing messages on this tape as much as I enjoyed doing them for you. These voices have been specially prepared to get you more messages on your answering machine. And now, here's how to use them to best advantage. At, at first, using a standard cassette player, I'd listen to the voices and choose one. Now, three seconds before each voice, there is a cueing chime. Now, this chime indicates that you have three seconds before the outgoing message starts. Then, in a quiet place, record the celebrity impression from the cassette player speaker into the answering machine's microphone. Uh, you can personalize your outgoing announcements in several ways, either by inserting your voice before or after the celebrity impression. Uh, this way, people will know that they have reached you and not a wrong number. Now, for best results, you should experiment with the distance between the cassette player's speaker and the answering machine's microphone. A distance of three to four inches between the speaker and the microphone with a medium volume setting is recommended. My Radio Shack outgoing messages will work with all types of answering machines, single cassette, micro cassette, or loop. Remember, your Radio Shack store offers a complete line of accessories for your telephone and your answering machine including various lengths of endless loops and incoming message cassettes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Rich Little's Radio Shack Outgoing Messages. Uh, uh, listen carefully. I, I have only ten seconds to explain to you how to leave a message on one of these machines. Now, now the first step is is the most important step there is. What what you've got to do is um, and 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 um, well. Uh, of all the answering machines and all the gin joints and all the towns and all the world, you had to call in on this one. Well, leave a message because if you don't, you'll regret it. Oh, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Oh, here's listening for you, kid. God for Daniels, an answering machine, enough to drive a person to drink. That's why I'll always be indebted to the person who invented it. I'll wait for the burp. I, I, I mean beep. I'll leave a message. I'll be in the bar. Hey, Ralph. Hey, uh, Ralphie boy. Uh, what if somebody calls? Well, you shut up, Norton. Panic is what we don't want. When they call, just tell them quietly and calmly that there's no one available and leave your name and your number at the tone. Yeah, but, Ralph, hey, they're calling now. <laughs> Gosh, what a bummer. There's no one available at the moment. But listen, if you leave me your name and your number, I'll see to it personally that they get back to you. Of course, if there's money in it, I'll get back to you. Hello. I'll bet you're wondering what the hell I'm doing here. Well, you know, being an expert, I'm here to record your messages. Uh, Rosemary, uh, which damn button do I press? All right, go ahead. Uh, leave your message. And I swear to you, if you do, I will not cover it up. I will make it perfectly clear. Hold on there, pilgrim. Just because this is an answering machine doesn't give you the right to hang up Remember, I can shoot the wings off a fly in midair. I can? Leave a message or you're dead where you sit. I'll listen for the tone. Listen and listen tight. Yo. Yeah. 
You know, Gracie and I always loved to take messages on an answering machine. In fact, she had a ringing in her ears for years, till she got an enlisted head. As for me, I love the tone. It's in my key. Do it. There's no one available at the moment. But if you kindly leave your name and your number at the sound of the tone, I will personally see to it that the party in question will get back to you the old-fashioned way. By Pony Express. Now listen, sweetheart. There's no one available at the moment. But if you'd leave your name and your number, I'll see to it that they return your call. Of course, if these machines frighten you in any way, or you just don't want to leave your name and number, frankly, I don't give a damn.